Hello and welcome friends. If you are sub to this channel you may know that I've been doing cinematic videos. Well some of them are trash but the others are pretty good I think. This way today I'm gonna show you how to make cinematic videos in the crew too. Let's go. Here we are let's take our car. I don't know what car I'm gonna take. Well let's take the demon. Let's go to New York. No Detroit. Detroit is good for the demon. Hmm. Where exactly? Let's go here. Drop it. What a coincidence. This place is nice. If you want to record some bits of the car and the details of the car, you have to stay stationary for a period of time. Then I'll tell you what to do. Just stay like this, don't do anything. Don't even move the car or the steering. Okay, let's see if this is enough. Press B if you are on PC. I don't know what to press if you are on console. Then press tab for the replay go to where you stopped okay okay here and press b for the to access to the video editor then press and hold f10 to remove all keyframes you need to remove them all then press b to add your own keyframe Press B again, uh, go to like look at, uh, set it to free, follow free, zoom, I always zoom in, because it makes it looks better, focus mode, automatic, ok, escape, environment, <clears throat> here you can change the weather, the time, all that kind of stuff, let's go for the hand. Always move the camera around uh, while changing uh, stuff to see if to see if you like it or not. Okay, now we're gonna start playing with the camera. Okay, so if you want to, if you want the camera to be moving in any direction, just hit uh, press enter. Let let it uh, play. Then pause it, add another keyframe with uh, B, then go to the final position of the camera movement. Then press B on the camera keyframe, uh, add the blending on, and play it. See? This is how it works. You can also add, uh, if you want to zoom in or something, the camera is gonna zoom while moving. You can add shake to or anything. Okay, so I want it like this, but I want it to be a little bit slower. So go to montage, uh, uh, set a keyframe, set the uh, replay speed to, uh, to half. <coughs> Go to the last camera keyframe, add another montage keyframe, and set it back to normal. Let's see now. See, it's gonna play it in slow motion. Okay, I'm happy with this one so far. Okay, and if you want to add another keyframe, just press enter to uh, move a bit of that last keyframe and add another. You can't add two uh, on top of each other. Okay, let's add another and choose another angle. Okay, this one isn't bad. Let's do the same thing. Keep it playing. You have to be patient. So patient. If you want to do uh, good uh, cinematic videos. Hey Vic, can you please go? We are doing something here. Okay, so we pause here, we add another keyframe, and we move our camera. Uh, again, put the blending on, 
backup and what's your scene I'm gonna obviously cut that the leaf uh, frame it's always hard to decide what you what you want to do in your cinematic video oh whoa, whoa. I found something okay <clears throat> okay here play Pause another keyframe. Go to here, maybe a bit of tilt and the blending on, of course. It looks nice. Working with a stationary car is pretty easy. You have just to be creative and have ideas about what angles you should put the camera in. And that's it. I'm gonna show you how to do footage while the car is uh, moving in a bit. Okay, after you're done with your editings, uh, go back to the first keyframe you made. Press F. Well, this is what I do. I press F to hide the UI and I open uh, the NVIDIA editor. I always record with, with this uh, NVIDIA editor. Okay, this place isn't terrible. Let's start here. Let's just cruise in low speed. You don't need to go fast. Going fast makes it look bad. Well, it doesn't, but going slow is better. Give you a more cinematic feel. Okay, this is our footage. We'll work with what we have. <clears throat> you have to go back again. Go back to the start which is right here press tab and oops, pause do the video editor with P remove all the keyframes, hold the F10 make your own keyframe now we're gonna change this one, the follow uh, you're gonna put it to uh, your name your name tag to make sure it's gonna keep following your car Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing, the weather, obviously. Okay, this is so far so good. Now what we need to do is... Let's go in front of the car. In a place that the car doesn't show. Play our video. And pause it after period and then go back to the car make sure to put it in a pretty nice angle put the blending on obviously and play it looks like you are you are with the car in front of him uh, filming him so it looks makes it looks real Mm, let's see, we are coming from the back. Sit in the middle. <clears throat> and play. Okay, let's now go like this. Blend it on, of course, and play. Okay, we can do this, show the car from the front to the end of the car. Okay, this is enough, let's go all the way to the back. Okay, so these are our sequences, like we did with the other one, go back to the very first keyframe, open your recorder, and hide the UI, don't forget that recording play your video and that's it with the game but we still gonna edit them uh, on a video editor so go open Adobe Premiere or whatever editor you're working with okay let me delete the audio of the, the recorded clip you gotta have a good first listen and imagination
okay in the first uh, part you can you can show your logo or a clip showing a city or something I mean you can uh, add an intro to your video don't come up with uh, the car cinematic in the front okay here I'm gonna add the oh no I already uploaded it so never mind um, I recorded a bit of kind of tease of the car I'm gonna use that here it's gonna change so let's it's mostly just got copy and paste in the editor nothing too complicated the important work was done in the uh, Crudo editor. Let's continue. Mm, let's see. It has to be on time. It has to be. Details are so important. It is on time. <clears throat> okay, it changed again there. Change the can here. And don't delete your unused sequences. You might need them. Believe me. Let's do something different here. I'm gonna do the same as this, but reverse it. Speed duration, reverse speed. Don't make the viewer feel bored. You have to do some new things in your video. So this is it guys. This is our final project. Hope you liked it. If you learned something from this video, give me a like, please. And don't forget to subscribe to see more content. And peace.